weighing in at 171 pounds. Three wins, only one defeat. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Birmingham, Alabama, Ricky the Crimson King, my Chronicles. And fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 171 pounds, with a record of six wins, three losses, fighting out of Albertville, Alabama, Damien. And your referee when that actually begins is your side, Nate Man. Man, I am looking forward to this one, folks. No touch your gloves, it looked like, but maybe I missed so. Ricky McConaughey always game to just throw. Oh, Damian no, look, Douglas. man. So both of these guys, Ricky's got really good stand-up. Damian has really been working on his stand-up, and he showed that against Chris Cornut. I've never seen anybody. Mm, good left hand. Yeah, that was a beautiful left hand. I really feel like this is, you know, striker versus grappler. Damian looked for that takedown just then. Yeah. But his, his, his boxing's looking good, man. Yeah. I feel like, you know, Ricky needs to stay on the outside using the jabs and the teeps and stuff like that to keep it on the outside in the range that he needs. And you, when you do that, Damien has a further way to come to close that distance to get the takedown that he's looking for. Yeah, 100%, especially since these guys were just standing and are now standing again in opposite side stances. You know, I'd really, I'd, I would strongly encourage Ricky McConaughey to use things like his jab and like his lead teep, you know? I mean, I know we're dealing with a wrestler here in uh, Damien Douglas, but, you know, if a wrestler can't cover the distance, he's not gonna wrestle you. Well, that's, I, of course, it's oh, easier man. said than done. But here's the thing. I like how Ricky is getting the underhooks. As yep. soon as Damien closes distance, he's getting that underhook. And yep. that's a beautiful job by Ricky. It's going to be hard for Damien to get him or, or, or to get his hands clasped or even get that single leg. There's the ankle pick right there that he's trying to work on. Yep. And Ricky's doing a really good My job. My prayers were answered, if only momentarily. Well, you know, I talked <laughs> to Ricky yesterday, and I said, hey, man, you know, what is Damien going to bring to the table against you? And right. he was like, bro, he's going to try to take me down. That's all there is to it. <laughs> And, and that's it. But Damien's stand-up looked good the last time we saw him in Trustville, Alabama. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice left hand right there. Yep. But Ricky has really good teeps, Josh, has good, good jabs, and he's got dynamite in his hands, too. Yeah. Beautiful takedown. If he can get it, good job by Ricky to stay up. See, he's got that overhook on the on the right side. He's got right. the underhook on the left, the over-under. Yep. Looking look, to rotate, see if he can't get Damien Douglas on the cage. Trying to jack up underhooks. that underhook. Yep. Yep, yep. I got to say, uh, it, that looked like the second or third time uh, Mr. Ricky McConico ended up throwing that rear hook oh, in this opposite man, side Oh, man, beautiful stance. counter right there. Yeah, it, uh, like I was saying, that was that second or third time that he's throwing that rear hook in the opposite side stance, and it looks to me like he's kind of compromising his range a little bit. There we go with the good jabs, and I really appreciate that. That, oh, was, a good, right that was a good right hand, That got too. through. Both of them connected, but it looked like Damian Douglas got the better of that exchange. Man, Damien Douglas is a big man. Oh, yeah. man, good. Damn, beautiful take job, down. man. He got in. That was perfectly timed right there on that counter. Dude, that on was that cross. big. That was big. But Ricky's been here before. He's getting yep. to his hips. He's yep. getting back up. Yep. Was working to put in a knee shield there. Is now working for bottom half guard to try and see if he can't maintain some control. Going to have 10 seconds in this round right here. Yep. I mean, I pressure. thought it was pretty even until the takedown. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's so that's that's taxing right there. Like he's got to be able to solidify that takedown sooner. One hundred percent. If not, I just think Ricky could do a little bit more on the feet to solidify yeah. the round for him standing wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't mean to be overly critical. I'm just trying to say that I would really like to see a little bit more out of Ricky. With yeah, the, me too. You know, oh, use his big head kick. Especially if he's going to stay in opposite side stances like that, right? He's got nice that. Nice one, too. Yeah, that was that was good. That was good. I'd really like to see him. Oh, oh he no. dropped him. Flash knockout right there. Yep. But Ricky recovers. We've seen this happen with him. Oh, big shot right there. The referee, oh, Northside Nate's hurt. looking in. He is hurt bad. Ricky McConaughey is hurt right here. Man, and that's what happens when us long guys. Like, uh, uh, I could speak from personal experience with this as well, you know, like when we don't utilize our range to our full capacity, we're dealing with someone that can threaten the takedowns, all of a sudden those hands open up for our opponent. Oh, here he goes, Kimura. Oh, Kimura locked in. Is he going to get that Kimura or not? Yeah, it looks oh, like Oh, man, it. the head's over. That's yeah, the, the, Oh, it's over. That's going to tap. tap it. Yep, maybe Ricky's not. Ricky's thinking about tapping. 
Oh, man, it's bad. Uh, that is Damien's just going to keep going. He's screwed. I mean, you got the left. You got the left leg over oh, the head. Oh, Look at all that fuel. torque and leverage right there. Damien's like, man, I don't want to break it. He let it go. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, but Ricky's a dog, man. Yeah. He thought about tapping. There was a few moments he wanted to tap. And look at these left hands right here. Yep. He's got the crucifix in. Yep. Ricky Solid is trapped. He's got his right hand free here, so he's not crucifixed anymore. Damien, and now he's got the left knee on the on the right arm here. Man, it went from bad to worse. He's rocked, man. He, uh, I mean, it was a flag. He was out, and then he woke up when he hit the ground. Yeah, I mean, hey, I would not have been mad at that ref for stopping that fight at that moment, you know. But, I mean, here we are again. Hey, man, Ricky's still trying, trying to fight. Here we go. Yeah, Nikki's still, uh, Ricky's still trying to fight, and I applaud him for it. Good you job know? by Damian Douglas. Deck Nation. Deck yeah. Nation. That's exactly what he's doing. Nice knee to the body right there on the ground. 100%. Damien must pull this Kimura off in training all the time. And I don't blame him. I would still go for it, too. Oh, man, he's got the right arm trap, the crucifix. This little shot, it's a little peppering shots with the left hand, man. They're harder than you think, though. Oh, yeah. And I... Northside <laughs> Nate's taking very close look at this. Man, it... <laughs> Damien, man, this is what he did with Chris Cornut. I've never seen anybody dominate uh, Chris Cornut like he did in the second and third round and trustful when we saw him. I've never seen anybody dominate Ricky like this either on the ground. Yeah. This is giving me Valentina Shevchenko vibes. I forget who the opponent was, so please forgive me, but I, I remember a few years ago Valentina Shevchenko ended up in a very similar position and just wailed but, for the remaining round. But to get here, he knocked him to the ground. Oh. So he, he won the stand-up exchange to 100%. get him to the ground to where his bread and butter is. 100%. Man, that's tight. Oh. Um, but like I said, I this, think... You know, hit the body with that uh, that opposite side, uh, excuse me, that body kick from the rear leg. See how it's opened up right there with them standing in opposite side stances. Mechanico being the longer fighter, it should be oh, there man, all day. Barely missed that overhand right right yeah. there. The thing is, I feel like Ricky's got to get a finish for sure to 100%. win. I, I'm giving Damian Douglas the first two. Yeah. And this is also, for people at home, this is our title this is a title eliminator fight. The winner of this is fighting for a 170 title. Yep. Damian Douglas shooting in for another takedown. Beautiful. Establishing top control. Man, he's so dominant on the ground. He's just a good wrestler. Man, it is frightening. It is frightening. I mean, he's got Rick, Ricky, like, his head's up against the cage. He's stuck right here. Yeah. Nice oh, job. Nice. Beautiful job. Nice by Ricky scissor McCormico sweep. Right there. Beautiful scissor sweep. Getting back up onto his feet. Still in a tough uh, position. Yeah, but Damian's but got his hands his way right. out. He's yeah. got his hands together, man. Pulls Ricky's hips off the cage panel. Right down he goes again. But Ricky is being stubborn. He's getting right back up. Yep. While walking up. He needs to throw that knee right there. His... I agree with this corner. His corner is hollering for underhooks. Yes, stop going for the overhook in that position. Yep. Here we go again with the opposite side stance. That lead, that, excuse uh, me. Nice See? body kick there. There we go, and that's exactly what we want McConaughey to throw. See? But Damian Douglas is apparently taking corner advice. That's all he's worried about. Damian Douglas sees that right hand coming, Yep. and he's shooting right underneath. He's timing these takedowns beautifully, but Ricky is very stubborn. Oh, nice underhook nice. there. And this nice is what I'm calling for. He's got to jack it up to the ceiling and circle out. Yep. Man, if I'm a Conico too, while, you're, while I'm in this position, I'd be trying to throw a knee to the body just to give Douglas something to think about, you know? That way he's less incentivized to get into the clinch. But at this point in the game in the third round, I don't know what good that'll do us. Yeah, man. I, you know, the thing that I'm really impressed with is Damian Douglas. I've been watching him fight for years, but, but what t uh, Travis Hill and all them guys are doing – at Ultimate MMA with him, I mean, they're doing they're doing a lot of great things with him, and you can tell the progression that he's making from one fight to the next, and that's what's so cool about watching these guys fight their first amateur fight to where now they're about to go pro, or they're good enough now that we're fighting for a title. Yeah, you know, that's that's really cool to see them evolve like that, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, amateur MMA is full of skill acquisition, and when you can see these fighters put things together and really come out in the next battle, oh, looking nice like little a left hand right there. Oh, big oh. right hand. This right here, this is about the same. Ricky's being stubborn. You know, it, this fight has been playing out the same on the first and the yeah. third round. This third round's looking like the first round. Yeah, yeah. He's going to try to suck them hips out. 
10 seconds left in this fight. I'm a, he's going to go for the single. The, the high crunch. Boom. The high crunch was huge.